growth uh, at the at the gates. Those boards are always crashing with wood screen. So I've got a collection of like 20 of those, including my own that I've collected there. So don't send me any of those anymore. But let me show you some of the others that I've collected. And some of you might have seen some of these before. Some of them are just so priceless that you know, it's worth keeping them for the people that haven't seen them. Like this one at SeaTac's baggage plane, where this guy, I don't think his luggage is ever going to come out. <laughs> this is a DFW. That's a nice kind of multi pane blue screen there in the hallway at Dallas Fort Worth Airport. This, not really a blue screen, it is a, a Windows update. <laughs> This is <laughs> what's the odds that the text is just going to line up like that? <laughs> this is uh, eight, uh, the ticket vending machine at the New York subway system. I heard somebody told me that they were going to upgrade these things because this picture is like a year and a half old. And then I found out from somebody that was there a few months ago that it's still the same old clunky things running Windows NT4. Whoever took this picture was sitting there watching it and then saw it blue screen. <laughs> uh, this one's a giant billboard on the side of the road. DHL, this shipping kiosk. Train station, anybody recognize this one? I think it's Milan, but I'm not sure. Comp USA's bestseller. This was a whole classic <laughs> Comp USA. If you're not aware, some people in here might not have heard of Comp USA. It's a big and retailer in the United States went out of business because they were selling PCs like this. <laughs> this is Best Buy selling similar PCs. <laughs> this is, uh, and it, you know, when I first stopped this, I laughed. And then somebody at one of these tech ed, the last tech ed bureau, I right, showed it for the first time at tech ed bureau last year, and they came up and said, actually, I was at this concert. This is a techno guy that I can't remember his name that actually that puts up blue screens as part of his act. So. It's become cool in the, in the techno circle. This is, again, a classic. This is Dave Solomon. If you haven't seen him or know about him, he's the, my co author on Windows Internals, wrote a lot of the Windows Internals sessions that we used to do together at Tekken before he retired. This is him traveling with his wife at the airport, at the gate, seeing the blue screen, looking at it, analyzing it, and then telling the people in the waiting area what the cause is. <laughs> Destination blue screen. Uh, blue screen that you can walk on. This one, again, an all time classic. This is a gas pump that's blue screen. And here's the root cause. <laughs> what makes this really funny is that this is an actual picture from the Building 26 parking lot at Microsoft. And I have to make it look, I made this obligatory joke that is the task manager at Lover's Bar. <laughs> This is, a, well, I experienced this in a conference room a few weeks ago. This is an oldie, but feel sorry for the person that was told by tech support to write down the error message. <laughs> This was said to be by somebody in this room. This uh, is in Ukraine at an uh, ATM machine, and you're not, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is MS Paint there. <laughs> with the last word scrolled on it, ATM out of service. This is from a month ago, so I don't, 
I don't think they've got any XP in, uh, in the life message. <laughs> this one is again a classic, the, probably the most, how many people watched the opening ceremony at the Beijing Olympics? About a billion people. And a billion people got to see the blue screen on the top of the dome there, the bird's nest dome. This is walking into Olympic Park in uh, UK during the last Olympics there. With Paddington Station, telephone blue screen, burger blue screen, uh, air traffic control tower in Ukraine. <laughs> It's actually not that's Independence Square. And health station, blue screen, uh, TV reporter reporting on blue screens. <laughs> my daughter, I got this uh, email from my daughter. This came up on my computer at school. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> and when she got home, I sat her down and said, That is not funny. <laughs> said no, so I sent her off to do her process monitoring. <laughs> uh, Walmart, station, Wendy's, I mean you can say this is <laughs> only the goodie for the, for the Iraq war. And then we're back to being home, and then we've got one last one that's just priceless too, a relatively new one. This, uh, it turns out there's this cool Connect app. Oh, we've got to watch the app first. Uh, let me set this up. There's a you want to watch the app? Uh, there's this cool uh, Connect app we're going to see in here in a second. It's a sandbox app. So there's a Connect camera above the sandbox, and kids can play in the sandbox. And depending on the height of the sand, it'll project down different colors. And so you can create these 3D kind of topological things. So you can see uh, there's a kid. There's a kid playing in the sandbox. Wait, is this the one? Oh, it switched videos. That's not the right one. Oh, here it is. Kid playing in the sandbox. Now, the interesting view look, you can make it out like a volcano looking effect. That's all projected light, but it makes a cool effect. And then, uh, but this is really going to traumatize the kid, I think, because watch what happens. Oh! <laughs> So let's get back to 